mga kawawmat. In this video, we will define universal set, subset, and proper subset. We will also illustrate subset and universal set using Venn diagram. And we will list all the possible subsets of a given set. So first, let's have an activity. Consider these cards. A, 2, 3 of hearts, 4 of hearts, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of hearts. Okay, so I want you to form the following sets using the numbers in the cards. So, buuin natin itong mga sets na to, depende sa hinihingi. So, let, first, we have set A, numbers less than 5. So, what are those numbers less than 5? That is correct. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Take note of the word less than. Next, even numbers less than 5. So, yung mga numbers naman na mas mababa sa 5, pero even numbers lang. So, ano-ano ba yung mga even numbers na mas mababa sa 5? We have 2 and 4. Okay, next. Prime numbers. What are the prime numbers given the set of cards? We have 2, 3, 5, and 7. And then add numbers for set D. So we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Also, we have set E, the numbers from 1 to 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, what is a universal set? Pag sinabi natin universal set, it is denoted by you. This is the symbol for the universal set. And it contains all the elements. So, si universal set, parang siya yung pinakananay. Siya yung kabuuan. Where it contains all the elements. Okay? So, kagaya nito, our universal set is 1, 2, 10. Okay? So, given the universal set 1 to 10, so, ito yung mga cards natin kanina, yung mga sagot natin na kung saan doon natin kinuha sa mga cards ay tinatawag nating subsets. Oo, subsets ang tawag natin doon. Ano nga ulit yung mga sagot natin kanina? We have set A, 1, 2, 3, 4. Set B, 2, 4. Set C, 2, 3, 5, 7. D, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and E, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, itong mga to ang tinatawag nating subsets. Saan natin siya kinuha? From the universal set. So, lahat ng elements na kukunin natin from the universal set ay tinatawag nating subsets. Okay? O lahat ng elements na makikita o matatagpuan natin sa universal set ang tinatawag nating subsets. Okay, we can also illustrate universal set and subset using Venn diagram. So, ano bang itsura niya? So, ganito siya. Where U is your universal set and then yung subset nasa loob siya ni universal set. Of course, kumbaga si universal set siya yung nanay, si subset siya yung anak. Alright, let me show you some illustrations of universal set and subset. So, halimbawa... I have this. So, this is our universal set. Ito. And then, itong dogs, nasa loob niya ang mga poodle. So, paano natin siya i-represent -re using uh, a subset? Okay? So, since ang poodles ay nasa loob ng mga dogs, therefore, all poodles are dogs. Ganyan natin siya babasahin. And then, how are we going to write this using symbol? So, we will have poodles are subset of dogs. Kasi na, kung mapapansin nyo, nasa loob siya nito. Another example. So, if I have here set A, 1, 2, 3, and set B is 1, so therefore, set B is a subset of A. Another example. So, I have here set A, 1, 2, 3, 4, set B, 1, 2, set C, 4, 5, 6, 7, Set D is 6. Okay, paano natin siya ipapakita using Venn diagram? 
So, let us make our own Venn diagram. So, since uh, kung titingnan natin ang mga given natin, merong intersection, merong common elements. Okay? So, dapat i-analyze natin mabuti ang given natin. Now, so we have four sets. Okay, so I have here, yung set A daw natin ay may laman na elements sa, na 1, 2, 3, 4. So, dapat sa loob ng A natin, makikita natin ang 1, 2, 3, 4. But, tingnan mabuti, ang set B natin ay meron siyang 1, 2. So, meron siyang common elements na A na makikita natin dun sa A. So, ibig sabihin, kung itong 1, 2 na to ni set B ay makikita natin sa A, Therefore, si set B ay dapat makita natin sa loob ni A. So, si 1, 2 ay nasa set B at the same time nasa loob siya ni A because B is a subset of A. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, ano pa yung isang laman ni A? We have 4. Now, si 4, ilalagay natin siya sa intersection ni A at C. Bakit hindi ko nilagay si 4 dito sa may yellow na part? Because 4 is the common element of A and C. Kung na natin, si set A natin meron siyang 4, si set C natin meron ding 4. So, dapat makikita mo ang 4 sa intersection ni set A and C. So, dito natin siya ilalagay. So, kung babalikan natin, si set A ang laman niya 1, 2, 3, 4. Kasi lahat ng elements na yon ay nakapaloob sa ating A. Si set B, meron siyang 1, 2 at the same time, nasa loob siya ni A. And then, si 4, subset, uh, subset I mean, intersection siya ni A at C. Now, Yung C natin ay merong 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we only have 4 here. Kasi nasa gitna siya dahil intersection, ba? So, saan natin ilalagay si 5, 6, and 7? So, dito. Okay? So, lagay natin si 5 at si 7. Now, ba, asan si 6? Saan natin ilalagay si 6? Sa loob ni D. Kasi si 6 ay element ni D. At the same time, si D makikita mo sa loob ng C. So, kahit si 6 nakita natin o nakalagay siya sa loob ni D, part pa rin siya ng set ni C. Kasi nasa loob siya ni C. Okay. So, what is our universal set? Kung titingnan natin, ano ang mga elements na nasa loob ng ating universal set? So, therefore, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Let's have, an, let's have the definition of a subset. So, a subset is denoted by the symbol if and only if every element of set A is also an element of set B. So, in short, basta nakita nyo itong elements na to na nakita nyo dun sa isang set, automatic that is a subset. Kung meron silang common element, subset siya. Okay, remember that an empty set is always a subset of every set. Ano nga ulit ang symbol natin for empty set? Dalawang braces or null set. So, ulitin ko, ang empty set is always a subset. Tatandaan yan. Next, what is a proper subset? It is denoted by this symbol. So, yun lang ang pagka-difference nila. Wala lang siyang guhit or bar dito sa ilalim. If and only if every element of set A is also an element of set B. Now, if you have noticed, uh, itong definition na to ay definition ng subset. Okay? So, ang pinagkaiba lang ng subset at proper subset, ang proper subset ay merong at least one element that is not in A. So, ibig sabihin, merong element kahit isa lang na wala dun sa isang set. Okay? So, kumbaga parang may sobra. So, yun ang tinatawag nating proper subset. Ang subset, mulitin ko, but once na meron silang common elements, nakita mo siya doon, subset siya. Ang proper subset naman, if it contains at least one element na wala doon sa isang set mo, that is a proper subset. And remember, a proper subset is always a subset. So, whenever we have a proper subset, that is also a subset. But, a subset is not a proper subset. Example. So, this one, what do you think is the answer? This is 
as subset. Okay, bakit? Kasi you see 1, 2, 3, meron rin siya doon. So, si set A, makikita mo sa set B. So, that is a subset. Next, so I have here 3. So, meron 3. Ang sabi, if there is at least one element na wala dito. So, yung 1, 2, wala dito. So, this is a proper subset. Okay, but at the same time, actually, this is also a subset. Remember that. Next, so 7, 8. So, si 7, 8, wala siya dito. So, this is not a subset. Next, so 2, we have 2, so 1, 2, 3. Is this a subset or a proper subset? No, because unang-una, wala siyang brace. So, this is just an element. Unless, yung... um. Set mo ay merong brace sa loob. Minsan kasi kapag ang set natin meron siyang brace sa loob, tapos dito may brace siya, element pa rin ang tawag natin doon. Bakit? Kasi yung mismong element natin ay may brace. Okay? So, tingnan natin mabuti. Okay. So, I have here 5. So, 1, 2, 3. So, wala naman si 5 doon. Wala rin siyang brace. So, this is not a subset. This is also not an element. So, ang symbol natin dyan is not an element. Let's have another. So, you have to fill in the blanks with uh, proper subset, subset, element, not an element, and not a subset. Okay, so this is a, subs a proper subset. Okay, but all, uh, kagaya nga ng sinabi ko, a proper subset is also a subset. Next, so we cannot... Uh, see the element G in the given set. So, this is not a subset. Next, is 4 an odd number? No, this is not an odd number. Pero wala rin siyang braces. So, automatic, this is not a subset. This is not a proper subset. So, this is not an element. Another. So, I have 3 to 1. And then 1, 2, 3. So, this is a subset. Kasi wala naman tayong at least one element na wala dito. So, sakto siya. And then, one. So, since wala tayong brace dito, so this is just an element. Okay, proceed tayo sa number of subsets. Paano natin makukuha ang bilang ng subsets given a set? So, halimbawa, meron akong A, B. Kapag hinihingi yung bilang ng subsets, lagi nating uunahin ang empty set. Again, remember that an empty set is always a subset. So, ilan daw yung subsets na mabubuo natin dito sa set na A, B? So, unang-una dyan, empty set. Next, single letter muna tayo. So, A and then B. And then, two letters, A, B. So, ganun lagi ang gagawin para wala tayong makakalimutan sa pag uh, hahanap ng subsets. First letter muna, and then two letters, and then three letters kung marami siya. So, therefore, how many subsets do we have? One, two, three, four. So, we have four subsets. Next. So, I have one, two, three. How many subsets do we have here? So, first, empty set. Next, one digit muna tayo. So, we have 1, 2, and 3. And then, two digits. 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3. And then, three digits, we have 1, 2, 3. So, how many subsets do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we have 8 subsets. Next, how many subsets do we have? from the word love. So, letters of love, we have L-O-V-E. So, first, we have the empty set. And then, proceed tayo sa one letter. So, L-O-V and E. And then, two letters, we have L-O, L-V, L-E. So, para wala tayong makalimutan, start lang muna tayo dun sa first letter. So, L-O, L-V, L-E. Next, O, L, hindi na pwede kasi meron ng L, O. So, pareho lang yon So, punta na tayo sa O, V, and O, E. And then, V, E. Now, for three letters, we have L, O, V, 
L O E, L V E, and O V E. And then for four letters, we have L O V E. So how many subsets do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 subsets. Now, paano tayo makakasigurado na tama ang bilang ng subsets na nakuha natin? Pwede natin gamitin to. Pwede natin i-check using the formula of 2 raised to n, where n is the number of Elements. So, ano nga yung mga nakuha nating sagot kanina? I-check nga natin, i-try natin kung tama tong formula. So, kanina, dun sa AB, may nakuha tayong 4 subsets. So, i-check natin using the formula kung 4 subsets nga ba. So, 2 raised to n, magiging 2 raised to 2 kasi dalawang elements niya. So, ibig sabihin, that is 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. So, that is correct. Next, so, kanina, ang sagot natin, 8 subsets. So, let us use the formula to check. So, 2 raised to 3. So, 2 raised to 3 is 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 2, that is 8. So, that is correct. And then, L-O-V-E. So, may nakuha tayong 16 subsets dito kanina. So, we will have 2 raised to 4. And 2 raised to 4 is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8, times 2, 16 subsets. So, again, etong n na to ay kung ilan yung elements. So, eto dito sa number 2, since tatlong elements niya, kaya 2 raised to 3. Sa number 3, since apat ang elements, kaya 2 raised to 4. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to our WowMath channel. Just keep on watching!